This is Meeting 15 of Football Land. We are collecting your sweat. We want your sweat. How are How you? Are you? Sweat. 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 Jumping up and down in a big bag is fun. Sweating from your head all the way to your big bum. Sweating to a jiffy bag and post it with your photo. We want your sweat spit, but we're not collecting we though. Jumping up and down. Bin bag, bing, 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 Sweaty. My name is Anthony Richardson and I'm the CEO of Football Land. My name is Mark Davison and I'm the CEO of Rind Engineering at Football Land. And my name is Ryan Baxter and I do everything else. And we've been accidentally given $1 billion by the state of Qatar to build a football themed theme park in Qatar for the Football World Cup in Qatar in 2022 in Qatar. Its name is Football Land and here's a list of the rides we have designed so far. The Leicester City Fairyland, the Tunnel of Wagner slash Donald slash Joachim Love, Jimmy Conrad's Conrad Biscan 3000, Steve Mechanical Bull. Eric Larwood's Football Hunger Games, Sir Alex Ferguson's Mind Game Simulator, Nimmo Dutra's Betro Monorail, Ascoffiation Noshball, Steve Cabaret, the School Sports Football Simulator, Ultimate Meat and Potatoes Miniature Fun Fair, Hasta La Vista Baby, the Eric Cantona Experience, Wax Corner, Zinedine Zidane's Mamma Mia Mayhem, Crash Bang Benjamin Massey, Benjamin Massey is coming to get you, the Watford Manager Whack A Mole, Wayne Lineker, Wayne's World, the England National Horror House, Roy Keane, Stick It Up Your Dodgems. Mark, we have a wonderful meeting. Larry and Paul are ready to deliver their pitch. They're waiting inside the giant testicle. This is the first oh, wow. time two people have been two in that testicle. In yeah. I hope they know each other well because, well, they certainly will once they come out of the testicle. It's not that big. Absolutely. And we've got some brilliant rides along the way. But first, some sad news. Ryan, sad news. you've got a problem. A sad problem. <sighs> yeah. yeah, I have again. And it is a bit of bad news this time. It's the squeaky bum time arena, the jewel in the crown of football land. You guys were very sort of keen on there not being a toilet inside a bum. No toilets. There cannot be toilets inside a bum. You can't have toilets inside a bottom. It makes perfect sense, right? That's why we've got the Vuvuzelas, the Shiwis. You do the Wii, you, you use the Vuvuzela, and then you do a Wii and the Shiwi, and then you don't use the Vuvuzela anymore. You don't need toilets then. Then they're cleaned well, you're up. Sort of, you've gotten ahead of me there a touch. You can't and... have a toilet in a bum. Okay. It's just that the Vuvu Sailors, they, you know, they're causing me headaches. It's like 2010 all over again. It, it, it's a noise issue. You'd think of Vuvu Sailor when you sort of put water through it. And in this case, my own urine. It makes it makes a lot of noise. It's not like a, a whooshing noise. I've recorded this and I can play it to you later. It's not good. And and when you when you poo through it. It's even worse. Originally, though, Ryan, originally we said that you play the Vuvuzelas and then when you need to go, you go in your Vuvuzela and then you put it under your seat. You don't use that Vuvuzela no more. It's so noisy. I don't think you should be playing the Vuvuzela after you've weed or pooed into it. It's it's the it's the urine itself and the, the conical shape of the Vuvuzela. It's sort of making a reverse sort of note. It's a cacophony. It's a bit like a kind of a sea lion sort of being, being sort of shattered out of a, of an elephant that noise is horrific if there's a way we can do this without the noise it would be worth aiming for i'd say i, I mean i'm fine with the weeing uh, into a vuvuzela and I, and I imagine the noise that make is less awful than pooing into one so can we ban pooing in in the squeaky bum time arena can we just ban don't defecating think, because they're only in there for 90 that, minutes yeah C- come on. A, i mean it's not a human no rights toilets. issue no toilets. I'm not a doctor, but if you yeah. stop yourself from pooing, then it can lead to cancer. So I yeah. wouldn't advise just, that. Just ask Eric Dyer and Gary Lineker. You, 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 our ball boys for cleaners are children. You can't let children clean up feces. If yes, you, you poo can, into a movie and it. then leave it in the stadium, these children, like they're legally, they're, not, they're not allowed to touch other people's poo. They can't. Uh, I think you can't let a child cleaning up. They've to... got to be over age. When you're Listen, young, you're always covered in poo, whether it's your own poo or dog poo. Yeah. You know, I, I said, used to make mud pies out of my sister's poo. And we, it never did us any harm. Yeah. They, or didn't maybe... ta- they didn't taste so good. And mum was furious when we popped them in the oven. But the kids love mucking about in poo. I don't like the image, though, of people pooing in a Vuvuzela and then leaving it behind with them. We need to sort that out. You okay. need to solve that. And we're not Fair having enough. toilet. That's Ryan. They are our two Def, red lines no, that we're no. not crossing. We, we don't want to ban pooing, though. We don't want 50,000 people coming out of the stadium full of poo because they won't be spending money on roller coasters. So okay. we, we need a solution, and we're all counting on you, Ryan. All right. Well, I can, you can yeah. do it. I know you can. I, yeah, well, you, I can you see can this. Poo is, it. Yeah, I'll Thanks, do it. Ryan. Okay. Cheers. Good luck. Leave it with me. <laughs> Mark, 
Mark, I have an idea. I'd like you to listen to it. It's called The Holding Midfielder. I look forward to listening to it, Anthony. Right, The Holding Midfielder is part ride, but it's also facilities, it's transportation, it's and it's also part crash. Wow. For $10 an hour, you can hire a holding midfielder to take you around the park. They pick you up. And they transport you from place to place if you don't want to use the bet trail. They hold you. Monorail, they, they hold you. They don't hold your hand, they hold your entire body. Great. And, and these are actual holding midfielders. Casemiro, Busquets, Fernandinho, David Batty, Makaleli, Kimmich, Matic, Mascarano, Carrick, Gustuso. Yep. They will be human taxis. Admittedly, they can only carry one person mm, realistically. Yeah. So you tell the rest of your family, I'm off to Escoffier Shinoshbal and I'm being carried by... David Batty. So see you later. And and you maybe can be carried by a, like Olivier Decor and you can be carried by SEN. Does that not sort of undermine the family element? With, well, well I, I think if, if only carry one them, person at a time. But also think about this, Mark. It also works as a crash because if you and your partner want to go off to the Durex Red Light District, um, mm. total football, you can leave your baby with like Wilfred and Dee, Dee. Uh, and he will hold the baby and sing it to sleep and just for ten dollars an hour just make sure that baby is safe warm and secure yeah i'm starting yeah. to see the 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 genius in this idea it's a beautiful idea that we need to make sure they're all crb checked i mean i'm not throw casting right. any aspersions on any of these midfielders but it's yeah. a legal requirement that's a lot of paperwork are we are we happy that's true that's true and also I, I do respect your idea about families do want to travel around together right we're gonna let's play it safe let's get three meter high replicas of famous holding midfielders throughout history so you climb up mm. a small ladder into these giant holding midfielders and you've got lots of different ones at this like taxi depot yeah. they're like robots imagine remember in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Krang he like mm. he lived inside that man's belly yeah. so you see sit yeah. inside as a family as a family you sit inside Angola Kante uh, and and he takes you with a touch touch screen you say where you want to go and it's like Wallace and Gromit's the wrong trousers you know he walks you around the park and deposits you yeah. uh, and that helps yeah. with the crash because if you still want to go over to the red light district you want to leave your child then there's no CRB checks you just put them in this holding midfielder and, and they can be walked around the park to sleep because a lot of babies need motion to, to get to sleep they can play white noise as well on the touch yep. screen chuck them in Javi Alonso's tummy and off you go you don't need to see them again till the end of the day and, and each of those can have the same traits as holding midfielders so David Batty only passed sideways didn't he yep. so one of them can walk sideways yep. uh, one of them can kind of go box to box but then slow up later on in the day and, and one holding midfielder can just be sitting in a hole yeah. it is dark in there it's completely pitch black yeah. um, but he owns that space maybe that's the crash yeah i i think we should have uh, a side idea of holding midfielders which is just you, you, if you're feeling a bit lonely a bit down mm. you just go into a little tent and a midfielder any midfielder just holds you just gives you a cuddle i think kante would would he's a good he's a lovely chap he's a devout muslim he's he's got a lot of compassion in him i've had a cuddle from arsenal's william and it was great mm. well th thank you well that's the that's the right idea um more of a transportation device but let's vote on it nonetheless uh all in favor of the holding midfielder say aye three two one I. Mark, some engagements come in. You've got some engagement. Yes, some engagement from members of the public. And don't forget, if you want us to discuss a ride or an idea, then follow us on patreon.com forward slash football land. We've got two bits of engagement. The first is from someone called Richard Beecham. He writes, me and an old colleague once had an idea for the Grimsby Town water slide, which would represent the club's fall through the leagues in the mid 2000s. And you could have your picture taken at the bottom with a crying Alan Buckley. Alan Buckley, of course, managed Grimsby Town in that period three times. Uh, as far as I'm aware, he's back there now managing the under 17. So keeps going back for more pain. A crying Alan Buckley. I should imagine if he's been there that long, he's permanently in a state of horrible tears. So Grimsby went from the championship it was then division one down to the national league then probably the Vauxhall conference around that time between 2003 yeah. and 2010 so that is a really Catastrophic steep water slide mark very steep from grace it's a bit similar to the leeds united big dipper isn't it um should should we lump these in the same area of football lands, like a fall from grace zone? Also, like just a steep drop for Leeds United, perhaps, um, where it's just a crash mat at the bottom. Yeah. In the shape of Peter Ridsdale. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, thanks very much, Richard Beecham. All in favour of that, uh, say aye. Three, two, one. Aye. aye. Congratulations, Richard. So the the other piece of engagement that you've been following, Anthony, is from someone called Phil Lee. What's he Phil Lee, us? yeah. Phil Lee wants to introduce to us a cup of carabao. Also open, he says, to a cup of caribou. Ooh. We take the traditional fair ride teacups with their spinning vehicles, the obviously spinning yep. teacups, you know, as they Famous. go round and round. Yep. Use yep. that as a vehicle to improve the image of the League Cup. Lovely. I don't know how you do that, but he says it's not to do with cups at all. It's to do with placing a live caribou in each teacup. He wants to put a live ah. moose in each teacup with each child as a sort of chaperone uh, but also uh, as a sponsorship thing a play on carabao it's a caribou we're talking the carabao cup caribou cup yes they're quite big and dangerous those creatures they are big and dangerous they are but we could we could remove all of the bits of them that are dangerous um he says this is the tactile nature you've got going on at football land gigs his chest hair guard and he says lee catamol's petting zoo one can pet the caribou secondly and more importantly, he says, the caribou, and this is the real mechanics of this. You should listen to this, Mark. The caribou okay. adds some more weight to get those teacups whipping around. Of course, and That's yes. really crucial so because teacups ride, yeah, when you're a child, they never go quickly enough. Because you don't weigh anything, yeah. If you've got a particularly large dad, yeah, you're laughing. I I remember my friend at school had a very large father and, and he went very quickly on those teacups and I was always very jealous because my dad was a normal-sized man. And, and yeah. don't get me wrong, he could spin them, but... Not like a giant man. Not like a giant man. So, yeah, that's really good thinking, Phil Lee. Uh, Phil Lee also says, you know, Carabao here is not really represented. It's more the Caribous than the Carabao. So he's suggesting installing water cannons around the teacups. Yeah. So imagine a big teapot in the middle of these teacups. And then you've got water cannons pouring into the teapot of Carabao. So they, they, they spray carabao into the teapot and then that flows through the spout into each uh, teacup, thus, you know, soaking the child. So as a four-year-old, you're going to be sloshing around with a live moose covered in fizzy energy drink. That's It's a child's delight, isn't it? It's a child's delight. They love sugar. And, and, and also there's, there's a danger to this for them because you're not allowed to drink energy drinks until you're 16. These kids are going to be so excited to do that. Did you know that the coupe, the the glass that you are officially supposed to drink champagne from, the shape of that glass is modelled allegedly on Marie Antoinette's boob. So lovely, yeah. Is there something we can get into this ride where the teacups are shaped like something from a footballer? Yeah, maybe Jan Molby, his peck, because I, I yeah. feel like he's the Marie Antoinette of the you know mid nineties Premier League, and yeah. also he had quite a bosom. So to have and also, he's in the Hunger Games uh, being eaten by other footballers at the other well, side perfect. of the park. If we could ask the footballers to politely not eat his boobs, and then we can take them and put them in the with the moose and the kid. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Phil. Um, all in favour of a cup of carabao, say aye. 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 Yeah, Congratulations, Phil. And you've solved two problems there, son. Just what is it that you want to do? One go football land, and we want to have a good time. So, Anthony, I've got a ride idea. Okay. Yeah, it's it's. I'm calling it the Mourinho Londrino. So let me just put it into context first. Uh, so this celebrates the time when Mourinho was given a touchline ban for a return leg Champions League quarter final against Barcelona in 2005. He'd he'd made some uh, ill advised comments, and FIFA, uh, UEFA had banned him. So he wasn't supposed to be inside Stamford Bridge, but what he did was hid inside a laundry basket, which got him smuggled into the dressing room to give the pre-match and the halftime talk. So that's the context. This ride is a roller coaster that you ride from inside a wicker laundry basket. So you can only peek through the lid 
whilst in a semi-crouch position. And I, I just think that would be a fantastic adrenaline rush to ride a roller coaster like that. It's very rarely that you ride a roller coaster without seeing what's going on. I really like that element of it. Yeah, I mean, I'm proposing you can peek through the lid, but maybe it's even better if you can't see what's going on. You're inside a, a closed laundry basket, yes. But halfway through, do you then pop up and talk to people? I guess to replicate the incident, yes. You get a signal that, right, you, it's safe to come out. You pop up, you say some inspirational, motivational stuff, and then you pop back down again so is it just one person in each wicker basket or are 40 of you in a wicker basket i think one person in each basket but we can we can run them at 30 second intervals so hang on so when you're in the wicker basket and then you pop out halfway through to talk to other people but there's no one around because it's just you do all of the wicker baskets then sort of bunch up together in that bit and then you can all pop up and talk to each other i wasn't imagining the laundry basket stops when when you pop out and deliver the speech Maybe the speech you give is recorded, even though you're at high speed and it's going to be difficult with centrifugal force and, and G-force acting on you. But when you go through the gift shop at the end, you can buy a little key fob that has a recording of your speech, which will largely be garbled nonsense and shrieks and screams. I think what excites me the most about this is is something, it's an element of football that's not really talked about a lot, and that is sort of Chelsea Football Club's sort of penchant for using sort of oldie worldy uh, laundry equipment. Yeah. yeah, wicker is an underused material. It's sort of largely reserved for the for the sort of elderly to to, to furnish it. Uh, you know, a conservatory. Whereas here, you know, we're bringing back the art of sort of wicker making, mm. uh, and we're building you know a roller coaster out of, of wicker. Maybe the tracks are, are, are weaved wicker. Yeah, bamboo canes. I was thinking would would be really nice. You know, it, it's it's a it's a material known for not not breaking. Very very easily or sort of shedding very dangerous splinters off. So I thought that would potentially yeah. is, a, is a very suitable yep. material. The, the Chelsea, of course, they have their Chelsea pensioners who are quite famous, mm. the, the war veterans who wear red and they live in a small house mm. near Stamford Bridge and they always wear their medals to the game. They, they all share, share a, a single massive bed. Yeah, they share a big bed, like in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, yeah. head to toe. Mm. No funny business. No. A lot of them are in their 90s. But can we incorporate them into it can we get some of these chelsea pensioners maybe they're the people that you direct your speech at so they're standing you know to attention not sexually please like just because uh, they were in the army and uh, they and you can talk to them as you go past they're all stationed at various yeah. sections of the track yeah i wouldn't be surprised if a lot of a lot of them are actually made from from wicker you know in, them, in, yeah. in the war mm. you know they did suffer you know significant Horrible injuries shrapnel. yeah and, and i wouldn't be surprised if they didn't patch them up with wicker in those days, uh, it was very readily available. My great granddad had a false eye that was made of wicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen those. I'd like to really focus on the laundry aspect of this. Yeah, I, I wonder if we. I don't know if we've unpacked that enough, and I wondered whether there's an element that sort of ties in with Mourinho's erratic uh, nature, and that the it, the wicker basket could come to an abrupt sort of stop. Uh, there's a quick about term and it flings you from the wicker basket in straight into a washing machine oh. uh, and you're spun round being observed by a kit man who is probably um, to blame for something, a recent defeat. Yep. Wouldn't it be nice too if, if the laundry inside the wicker basket that's protecting you for safety, you know, instead of a harness, it's all donated by Mourinho. The tagline could be, do you want to go on a roller coaster and ride it with a load of Mourinho's dirty grundies? Mm. And, you know, you can't see it you can smell it because it's dark in there. You're popping out now and then to deliver a speech to some Chelsea pensioners who are stationed along the route in their wicker armchairs, wicker wheelchairs, standing to mm. attention, not sexually. Yes. And they can vote on who's the best speech. I know a lot of them will be confused. A lot of them will be hot and tired. But come on, lads, you're in the army once. It's like being and in the desert rats. For goodness maybe sakes, grow up and listen to some speeches. Mm. And the worst speech for that day replicates the Wicker Man film and we just set fire to the person. Yeah. I mean, in, in a friendly way, in a nice, safe, friendly There's way. There's so many uses for Wicker. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, well, well, let's have a think about all of those aspects. Ugh, this is going to be a tough one to vote in. I'm not sure yeah. if it's going to pass, but let's find out. All in favour of Mourinho Laundrino say aye. Three, two, one. Aye. aye. Oh, great. Congratulations, Mark. Congratulations. That's a relief. Great. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah.
Ryan, you're beaming from ear to ear. You've come up with a great solution to the Vuvuzela problem. Yeah. You tell us it. Yeah, it's been a, an intense period of R&D here in the last sort of, you know, 20, 15 minutes. Mm. I started initially with the sort of thinking about what a Vuvuzela is and I sort of went, you know, well, what's an old school Vuvuzela? Well, it's the old school rattle and I was thinking about flinging poo and wee, you know, with, yep. that, with that nice yeah. sound, which lovely, satisfying Nostalgia. sound. Nostalgia. getting poo in the eye I'm a bit worried about. Oh, um, yeah. gosh, no. And then, and that was like, well, we could give everyone glasses, but you know, no. Look, I'm making a, a extra work for myself, and I don't, I don't like that. Then I sort of went to sick bag. You know, we all know what a sick bag is. Easy to use. Could we have maybe half and half scarves in the in the seat in front, and you just sort of whip it out, inch yourself off your seat, and and, and poo into into one end, we into the other end. But yeah, I don't know, half and half. I don't like half and half scarves in any way. So the movie sailors became a bit redundant now, and I've sort of. I've sort of attached them to to the seat so people can't use them for pooing and weeing, and that's very right. much ruled out. They're very, very rigidly fixed to the seat, uh, and they sort of act like a whoopee cushion. So when you sort of do a Mexican wave, it's Lovely. sort of adding, it's, you know, you're sort of, you know, and then as you sit yeah. down, it's like, sit down. and yeah. then you stand up, yeah. and you imagine that, yeah. sort of going, yeah. Yeah, I love that. The, the, the trouble is, I'm sure you're going to preempt me here, Ryan, but the trouble is yeah. you've got rid of the device for pooing and weeing in suits, yeah, and we don't this want pooing, and we need weeing because we can't have toilets in a toilet, but but for some reason you've removed the toilet. Well, that's because I, I actually, I think I've arrived at the solution and, 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 I, and I just wanted to just, to, to, you know, tee you up with something that was just really nice and lovely. Uh, so I haven't got rid of the Vuvuzela element. It's still there, but what I'm going to say is potentially a bit controversial because you said no toilets inside the stadium, which is a bum. And let's not mm-hmm. go there again because we, no. we've done that. Uh, but I thought maybe how about we had little screens, like little privacy screens, like a little hospital screen. It comes up, you pull it up, you know, you're watching the game, 75th minute, it's tense, it's 1-1. One, one. You know, you don't want to you don't want to leave. You pull the screen up, it goes up either side of you. Yeah. And you sort of flip up your seat and uh-huh. just beneath your seat, there's a little grate. Right. You know, like in the olden days, it's like a bit like a like a long drop or a guard robe or, or a poop deck on a ship. And we all know why it's called a poop deck. Do we? Well, yeah. So I'm thinking, you know, on the side of this screen it's got your face on it a bit like they're doing now with the empty grounds so, you know yeah, it's got no you, it's one got knows you your, it's a cardboard no one cutout. knows you no one knows yourself. you've got yep. no one uh-huh. uh, and and you, there's a couple of little eye holes so you can still watch the game and freely empty your bowels into the bowels of the stadium and it's not in the stadium it's out of the stadium ah uh, it's well away from the stadium through it's the not floor. poo inside a poo it's not a bum yeah. inside a bum no 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 so my so solution is clever having no toilets in there at all to having if the if the capacity is 100,000 we've got 100,000 toilets in there and do you know what i blooming love that idea. i love that, that because great. solving the queue system yeah. everyone can do a poo while they're watching the game you're not going to yeah. miss anything no. and it goes outside i was a little concerned that you're pooing mm-hmm. back up into the bowels like the yeah. reverse reverse movements there but i'm going to ignore no. that because it solves everything and the ball boys they don't need to clean anything because i'm assuming no. it goes into a giant pit in yeah. it, under the earth into a yeah, septic that, tank yeah, yeah it's the state of guitar's problem it's not ours it's, it's well not our it's problem. no great you've solved that it is sterling yeah. work. Thanks. thanks ryan thank you all right i'm going to football land to football land to football land i am yes i am yes i am it's not built yet. Mark, I'm delighted to welcome into the meeting room Larry and Paul. Larry and Paul are a comedy duo who have hosted BBC radio shows since 2012 and their comedy sketches have won them a Royal Television Society Award. They are from Yorkshire. Hello, Larry and Paul. A up. A up. Hello. We are very excited to have you. We're very excited to be here. Yeah, Thank you. Excited. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Uh, it's wonderful in here. Quite roomy. Pleasure. You're the first people to be two of you inside a giant testicle. How is it feeling? Is it feeling okay? Is it plush enough is the velvet holding yeah the velvet is holding and um, th- there are some drill holes here i think you've, you've put in for breathing mm. there don't seem to be sufficient drill holes mm. in here so i'm a bit short of breath and also there do seem to be weeping 
somewhat. Yeah, yeah, they're, they'll be weeping. Mark, how did you make them weep? Um, best not to go there. Are there still bits of Wayne Lineker inside the testicle, or have, have we got rid of all those? Mainly expunged, I think. Larry, is there anything under that? There's some. There's some flakes. There are flakes. There's just some flakes remaining, mm. but you can't have everything. I'm sorry not, about no. the flakes. Yeah, I, mm. I did go round it with a with a dental wipe, but I, I evidently yeah. missed some. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I hope you're not barefoot in there because verrucas can spread very quickly. They they can spread. We have both got our Crocs on, so we're we're fine now. And underneath my Crocs, I've got those rubber socks you used to wear when you went to the swimming pool at primary school. Yeah, you always double bags. Don't yeah. you always yeah. double bag, Larry? Double bag. Lovely. Um, I've got a very quick question based on your expertise of theme parks. You're from the North East. You're from Yorkshire, so I'm I'm imagining that it, it's kind of you're a bit too north for robin hood country so what kind of theme parks would you have gone to uh, well personally speaking this is paul of the duo i've been to many a theme park i mean you could say i was a theme park vet uh, which is short for veteran yeah. not veterinarian of course yeah. um i've been to thought park made famous of course by when diana went with william harry on yeah. the log flume uh, did that one uh, i believe that was the world's first backward roller coaster uh, and i larry i mean you you've you've diminish the north in terms of theme parks because we have the extremely famous Lightwater Valley um, uh, up in North York, just oh, just course. over the border. And that is, I think, when they introduced the ultimate, was the world's longest roller coaster. It wasn't particularly scary. It was a roller coaster that got a little bit boring, but it was about seven minutes long or something yeah. like that. Mm. Isn't that just a train? <laughs> oh, sorry, that was it. Yes, it was the Settle Carlisle Railway. All right, well, let's get the legals underway. Um, so you, Larry and Paul, agreed to give over your ride idea to Anthony and Mark and its permanent place in football land. And to prove that you are, you are swearing on a copy of Shoot magazine from the year 2000. And just to prove that it's there with you, um, could you please name the player on the front cover? Uh, it's an older Matt Letizia. Interesting. We we Matt Letizia came up in Tom Deacon's mm. a couple of meetings ago. An older Matt Letizia. What do you mean by older Matt Letizia? Um, because they, they use when he played for Southampton, they they had a younger version and an older version, which they could wheel out depending on the importance of the match and for keeping the squad fresh. And you can and, tell this one yeah. is the older version because of the uneven eyes. Yes, the older yeah. one. <laughs> That's interesting that they had they wheeled him out so. You know, it was good that he didn't have to run around before he got on the pitch and he saved his legs for when they needed to be fresh. That's why he had such a long career and could do all those keepy-uppies before he did shots. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, uh, you have an idea. You've got the face of a man who has an idea and it, and it sounds like a good one. What's your idea? So I would like to uh, why pitch... Don't you, why don't you say you're from the north again? From from the north. Oh, I'm yeah. from the north, as you know. Yeah. I'd like to pitch the Elland Roller Coaster. The Elland Roller Coaster. Yeah. Uh, so obviously this is... Uh, I don't know how much detail you want me to go into at, at, at this juncture. I think maybe leave it there for a second, put that on the table and then okay. let them come Look to you. Look at that. The Elland Roller Coaster. What do you think of that? It's interesting. It's a play on Elland Road where Leeds United play their football. Um, it's a coaster. So obviously it's either what you put coffee on or it's a roller coaster. I'm hoping it's the latter. Um, uh, and at this juncture, I'd like just to say, great idea. Let's hear more. Great. Well, uh, so I'm in. I just want that recorded. I'm in. I'm, wow. I'm delighted. Uh, it's obviously loosely based on uh, Leeds United, this ride. And now it's, it's shaped like a football pitch. Okay, mm. which, which I realise is quite literal, but there's a there's a reason for that plan view of a football pitch. There's a reason yeah. for that, which will which will come uh, become apparent. The, the, 90, the like ninety that. degree corners are very important uh, when you hit those at pace on a roller coaster. Because if they're not ninety degrees, then they're a pentagon, aren't they, or something? Exactly. Yeah, it'd be a different shape. Different shape entirely. So as, as you leave the base, you know, with the, the bit where everybody gets on and off. I'm not sure if that's called the base. Is that the middle? The sort of middle on the sides. The bit where you've got a little bit of shelter. The tunnel. The tunnel. The tunnel. The tunnel. The tunnel. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the embarkation point. That's it. Where the muster station. Janet from Swansea says when you're allowed to get on, and they check that your seatbelt's on. Yeah. So, so as you leave that area, there is a small but hardened rubber implement. Oh. Um, that breaks the nose off every person in the cart, train right. cart. Thing. Yeah, that's, that's the official. Uh, and that, the, we, I call this the Lee Chapmanator, because for some reason yeah. it really sticks in my mind when Lee Chapman had his nose broken and played on. Yeah. Uh, I think it was broken anyway, and he had that nice bit of white thing holding his nose together while he played the game. So Tipex, that's Tipex. Also, he had that horrible incident where he swallowed his tongue in a game. Do you remember oh. that? But I couldn't... I couldn't think of a way to uh, bring that into a roller coaster. We focus group mm. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so at stages on the roller coaster, guys, yeah, you're going to become the football. So when you get near the opposition area, 
um, a giant Tony Yeboah, a holographic one. We're working with people um, in Japan on that. Yeah. Uh, comes out and smashes you into a, a huge crossbar that is over the top of the roller coaster, causing more facial damage. But by that point, you're not too concerned about that because you've already got the broken nose. But whilst enjoying the ride thoroughly. Yeah. yeah, And and you're swallowing your tongue if we can make that happen. So if we if we can find a way to make that happen, that's yep. that's again we're that's speaking we're speaking to the experts on yeah. that. Yeah, that's 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 the moonshot. Um, you get to Billy Bremner Corner. And another cart comes out with Kevin Keegan's face on it. On the from, front on the front of it? Yes, from a side channel rail yeah. and, and and punches straight into your face at right. the Billy Bremner corner. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, and as you as you come round and you're approaching Norman Hunter corner, this is where the 90 degree angle is important because you go too fast into that and you take the 90 degree sharp turn and it breaks your legs. Um, mm, so that's gosh. Nor- Norman Hunter cut. It, it, I understand that people might be concerned about injuries, but the good thing about the Ellen Roller Coaster is that we're explicitly telling you you will have injury. Um, also, we've got some really, you know, people like sharp drops in roller coasters, and nobody knows a sharp drop uh, like Leeds United. Yeah, um, that's the that's the Ridsdale drop, uh, emulating the early two thousands, and um, which and the drop goes further than you might imagine, and it stays underground for a number of years. Yep. Why is don't don't mm. don't don't cheapen this before before about fifteen years before you come before you don't. come back out. I'm yeah. not I'm not laughing. Sorry, he's yeah. getting quite emotional at this point. Yeah. So so you are you under there for fifteen years or are you under there for an equivalent of fifteen years? Maybe you see a a child grow up to adolescence. Um, you know, in in double quick time, just to give you a sort of a gauge on how long you're under there for. It's actual fifteen yep. years. It feels longer because it's so dark. Think sort of. Count of Monte Cristo, and uh, also, and then you've got, but you have the David O'Leary Hill, which I forgot to mention. That is that enables you to get high enough so that you can go through the Ridsdale drop. Yeah, um, and then when you come to the end of the roller coaster, there's two finishes to the roller coaster, which which we we think is very innovative. Very, yep. Well, ahead of, I mean, it's innov- innov- innovating on innovation. Yeah, it's way ahead. Not many roller coasters have two finishes. Um, one ends in total disaster. The track just stops. And yeah. you, you you fall off it um, into utter catastrophe, and then the other one is is sort of success and triumph and a crowd cheers and that kind of thing. Randomized, but, but it's randomized. It could be either, and that's for every every time someone's on the roller coaster. So so how ha- how long is the roller coaster before the fifteen year bit in seconds or minutes? You know, we're talking about two and a half minutes max. Um, yeah. yeah, very fast and you, very slow. We don't want too much time for people to realise. Oh my face is hurting now because of the broken nose, it's better mm. that they get to the, the leg break section quickly so they don't have too much time to focus on the, the pain of the first. Uh, uh, what are the medical facilities like uh, underground? Because, you know, th- we'd like it to be so that, you know, people go on the ride in full health and they come off the ride in full health. Ah, and 15 yeah. years is I, enough time to, to recuperate. Very poor, yeah. very poor medical so, facilities. So if, if there can be some sort of medical facilities down there to mm. so that they can recuperate and get back to full health, then, you know, we've got a proper before and after. Well, well um, thank you um, for asking that question and we're glad to receive it. And here's what we're going to answer. Um, you know, when you go through like normal, you run of the mill roller coasters and you go into a yeah. dark bit and sometimes there's a fine mist, a fine watery mist is spread on your face yeah 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 like that but it's debt hole uh-huh uh-huh will, will that help with the broken legs as well Inevit- that- inevitably Cause- indubitably involuntarily okay yeah um anything for the for, for the modern day leeds united who play very expansive open lovely football no <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> can we can we can we stress that? Yeah. No. The um the, there is the uh, the the Marcelo Bielsa uh, teacups ride, but that's no, always broken down. But nobody really understands what's going on. Yeah. And they just sort of watch and enjoy. It's very pretty, but no yeah. one knows what's happening. Yeah. It's quite esoteric. Watching leaves rise with old leaves. It's not gonna last long, I tell.
well, uh, Mark, I, I'm very, very keen to have something parochial. You know what I'm like about, you know, the regions. You know, you've yeah. got so many wonderful places in the UK. Newcastle, for example, yeah. that's a nice place. You've never been, have you? We haven't, to this point, had anything from Yorkshire. Uh, and, and, and I don't want to say we're trying to fill quotas. And I don't want to say that this ride, you know, wouldn't get through if it weren't for the fact that it was from somewhere outside the M25. We're not box tickers. We're, we're definitely not box tickers. No, but this is really strong. Yeah. And I, I'm i really, really excited by the technology. You know what I'm like about technology. I say, oh, I'm all for it. I'm all for technology. Yep. Not like some of, you know, I, I read about there was a chat bot who went racist, like an AI bot. Yeah. So, so my question to you guys is: Is there going to be like a chat bot that goes racist in this ride? Well, that 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 sorry that 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 links with a question I had in that you, you've represented the the golden era of of the like mm. the sixties with Billy Bremner and uh, Norman Hunter. Uh, you, you, you've got a nothing at all from the modern era, but you've got the Ridsdale drop. There was a lot of violence and a lot of racism and a lot of racist violence. Is that part of the ride? Is my yeah question. The, I did. I did consider um, having the service crew just waiting around um, at, the, at the end of the ride for some wanton violence. But it seemed to me that the that the best that the, the idea, the innovation of the of the two option finish w- was better, and uh, and also the service crew are, are you know traditionally quite difficult to pin down mm. never mind get them on a flight lots of them are on no fly lists how much money will this cost because um ridsdale had a lot of money didn't he it'd be great if we could spend a lot of money on it. it it yeah i mean we could we could probably use some of his or some of ken bates money we're hoping for investment there um obviously they made a lot by um charging people like me 32 quid to go and see them lose one nil to Sunderland happy memories oh yeah that was a date I never saw her again um that, that you know so a bit of their cash invested um would be good mark i am delighted by this ride i'm sure you are too let's have a vote on it yep um all in favor of the elland roller coaster say aye 3 2 1 I, 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 yeah, I speaking, you're not you really supposed to vote, say I have done right. Okay, so, so I... that's in by unanimous four to zero. Four to zero. Congratulations, Larry and Paul. You must be absolutely delighted. Oh, absolutely, utterly thrilled. We can't wait to get uh, to to push our next idea through. Well, you. I'm going to have to stuff you both back into the testicle until we can extract you from the testicle. Uh, so I hope that's okay. We'll, we'll see. That's you. fine. Are there crisps? Are there crisps? Uh, no. No, uh, oh. I can probably fit raisins oh. through the breathing holes if you're in, up for that. Chipsticks, chipsticks, chipsticks. I'll chipsticks. eat some of the Lineker flakes. Nutritious, musty. Yeah, yeasty. A very productive meeting. Ryan, just one action point to action before next week's action. You need to create a prototype of a holding midfielder, please. A fiberglass one, about three metres tall. Uh, Michael Carrick, perhaps. Just the plans for that. Um, He's got a very chiselled face, hasn't he? So it should be quite simple to do by next Friday, if possible. Or this Friday or tomorrow. Whenever's easiest and whenever's quickest. Okay, Okay, meeting. Thank you, Ryan. Bye. 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 Bye.